Hey guys, so today is a special day. Well, not really. I'm just preparing. Tomorrow, I'm about to straighten my hair. It is the second time I've straightened this hair. Um, I can't even show you all a clip because my phone fucked up. But I had a little clip. The video, unfortunately, got deleted, so I wasn't able to show you guys. But I really didn't like that straightening time. Anyway, I will honestly tell you guys tomorrow exactly how I'm going to straighten my hair but this is about week old hair um it's like pretty stretched um yeah i'm literally about to wash it and deep condition using the of course shea moisture's vanuka honey and mephora oil intensive hydration hair mask so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll come back tomorrow and straighten my hair over the next two days so yeah it's gonna be a bit of a process but it's gonna be very little heat and um, my curls are gonna bounce back by the end trust and believe but yeah see you tomorrow Hey guys, I just woke up. This is what my hair is looking like. Before bed, I just added the Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I'm just gonna go ahead and get in the shower, rinse this out, and then I'm just gonna bound my hair together today to stretch it. I will be using a denim brush to thoroughly detangle each section, and then I will stretch it out and let it dry in a way for tomorrow when I will actually be straightening my hair. And I will be adding the um, Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. So really what I'm going to focus on is really just preparing my hair and moisturizing and making sure my hair is very healthy before I straighten it. And of course, I really want to use as least amount of heat as possible so I will not be using a blow dryer hopefully tomorrow my hair will be completely dry and I will just be able to just straighten it after I um, finish pounding it but I'll show you guys how I do that in a little bit hey guys so I just finished um, rinsing out the deep conditioner and then applying my leave-in the Cantu leave-in and bounding literally most of my hair I just have one more section to go and I decided to go ahead and show you guys how I'm doing this I need one more thing Ugh. I will be using my Demon brush today to, I mean, take the hair out right now to make sure um, my hair is like completely and thoroughly detangled. That way tomorrow I don't have any knots that I have to take care of. And I can just, you know, let this loose and straighten it section by section. All right, so I already applied the, um, the deep, I mean the leave-in conditioner when I exited the shower. It has been almost an hour, so it is a little drier, but that's fine. I'm gonna still go ahead and start with the root, I mean the tip, and then brush it all the way up. And then when I feel like that's like perfectly smooth, I'll go ahead and take a scrunchie. And honestly, thank my boyfriend, he got me like three packs of these for Christmas and I went through two of them. So I almost didn't find that one. I was like, oh, I'm almost out. But then I found it. And then I, um, for the front here, I kind of twisted that way. It kind of looks like almost like a style, even though I'm kind of just preparing my hair to be straightened because clearly life goes on. I have to go to the store. I have to go um, to the gym. And this is literally all I did all around my head. And really simple. And I'll come back tomorrow. Hopefully it's all dry because I really don't want to use a blow dryer at all. Um, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this rather than using a blow dryer. Actually, I already told you I'm not using heat protectant. <laughs> so yeah, this will help minimize the amount of heat um, that I will be applying to my hair. And I used two for each piece of hair, two um, scrunchies. And then at the end, I would just um, just twirl it around my finger. That way, it's just not like you know super frizzed out, and it will be smooth tomorrow. So this is the final look. It's not really a style, <clears throat> but. Um, this is how I'm gonna wear my hair all day today and for half of the day tomorrow and hopefully it's all dry by then. So I'll be back and see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's been about 
30, 35 hours since I put these in and I'm about to straighten my hair. Um, I guess I'll sh take one of these out, show you what it's looking like. I'll probably time lapse most of my um, hair straightening, but I'll show you this. So this is what it looks like. It's completely dry. It's completely dry, so that's perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the dim and brush and literally just brush this out. And I guess if I um, use a blow dryer, it would be a little straighter than this, but I feel like this is fine. Like, I can definitely blow dry from here, and I didn't, I haven't used any heat so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this um, little section by section, and probably like section this big. And yeah, I'll show you guys. I'm not gonna record that much of this because I'm gonna need to um, watch something while I spend hours straightening my hair. But I will show you guys the first piece. I'm kind of scared. I know my hair is gonna revert, but it's like, this is the second time I've straightened this hair. And it's like, no, I'm not gonna damage it, I know. My hair feels nice and juicy right now, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll take this little session with ease, hopefully. Oh shit, <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, my curls, they're going. I need a better comb. I don't like using this. Let me know what you guys, do you guys like using a Dimmon brush to straighten your hair? Or would you rather? Oh, so, so far this is one pass through. I'm gonna probably do two or three cause if I'm gonna straighten my hair, it's gonna be straight, okay? This is where my hair goes. Damn! Oh shit. I'll come back later. Hey y'all, so I finished this first section of hair. Um, I'll probably come back way later when I'm like pretty much completely done. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I don't know if my hair is just naturally poofy or, um, I feel like my hair is just really thick. I don't know. I might have the same result I had last time, but I don't know. We'll see. Probably shouldn't keep on running my fingers through it. That's probably making it worse. But it's literally been like three hours and I'm finally almost done. This is my last piece of hair. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I've done for the past few hours. And again, I have not used any heat protectant because I feel like in the manner I took care of my hair prior to straightening it, it should keep my hair healthy. Or at least that's the that's the goal. I also picked the like the worst time of the year to um, straighten my hair just because it's 
been so rainy lately, but this is like the perfect timing because my boyfriend isn't here. And I had two days, consecutive days off. So, hashtag Lego. Almost be done. I will go in the other lighting now. Hey guys, so I'm back. My hair is completely straightened and I guess I cannot escape the poof. <laughs> this is literally crazy how long my hair is. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how long my hair is. Oh my gosh, that's literally crazy. It has a little bend in it because I had a um, scrunchie in it, but this is how long my hair is. This is what happens when I straighten it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I would even wear this. I don't even think I could. Is this too poofy for you guys to rock? Like, would you guys wear this? I'm gonna put it on, but can you tell it's super poofy still? Hey. Oh my gosh, my hair. I can't believe it's this long though. I think that's the most shocking part. Um, I don't even know, I couldn't even, can I do a, I think I'm gonna wrap my hair tonight. Maybe tomorrow it won't be as poofy. So that's the side part. Um, I can just show you how that looks all back too. So then that's um, a middle part. Let me know. What do you guys think? Would you guys wear this? Is this way too poofy for you? I'm gonna try wrapping it and see how that goes. But yeah, comment down below what you guys think. Please
please give this video a thumbs up if you like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will post more hair videos about one, how I'm gonna style this, two, if my hair reverts, which I'm sure it will revert back. And yeah, until next time, bye guys. Oh, and here's a little look at the sides, the back, my kitchen dollars. <laughs> Hell and happy, but um, yeah, this is my horror.